So Isotope just released a brand new version of their flagship distortion plugin called Trash. It packs 60 different distortion algorithms and 600 impulse response for convolution reverbs. So let's look at all the features of this amazing new distortion plugin. What distinguishes this plugin from its predecessor Trash 2 is mostly the fact that it's aimed at ease of use and creativity first. With one click of a button, you can randomize the different distortion algorithms and you can do the same for the built-in convolution reverbs. And also you have this morphing feature that can change the envelope of your distortion and of your filter dynamically. So it makes your distortion sound very cool and interesting. So let's take a quick glance at the plugin's features. You have 60 different types of distortion from really hard like distort to saturate which is gentler and everything in between. On the left side here you have the main distortion module and here is the input gain for the mid band which is right here but you can also split this and have multi band distortion so for example low, mid and high. Then here we have different types of distortion so four different type total and you can actually randomize by one click of a button and have a totally new combination of distortion and by moving this dot here in the XY axis you can obtain different types of distortion. And here at the bottom, you have additional settings depending on what type of distortion that you chose. It's not available for every type. There are also some other features that can be useful. For example, a mix knob for the intensity of your wet and dry signal in the distortion setting and a tilt knob here for the EQ. So for example, you can really change the type of sound you're gonna get depending on how you tilt it and the point at which you're tilting the EQ. On the right side here is the convolution reverb module and it essentially works the same way as the distortion module so you can combine four different impulse responses and you can select them from here for example tone, upper rust, chrome, effects, amplifiers, uh, you can go with tails for example liquid, animals, reverbs like spaces like concert hall, deep space or even reverse and you can also load your own by using custom. And finally, you can simply click here to randomize and have a crazy combination. So let's hear how it sounds like. Here you can mess with the stereo width. and you can also stereoize. So it creates basically a delay, a separation in the reverb itself. So now the distortion was disabled, we're only using the Convolve module. So let's try to use the distortion and the Convolve module and you're gonna see that you can also reverse it. So for example, by just clicking here, you can flip it. So it changes the order in which the signal is processed. So where things get really interesting is this envelope setting here and the amount of modulation that we'll be using. So the attack and release settings here are very important and they will also affect the filter here that can be turned on or off and the distortion here. So depending on how much we're adding, it's gonna add movement to our distortion. So 
so you can see here that we can go in the negative and the positive and it alters the sound in different ways and changing the attack and release setting of the envelope it will also really alter the way it's reacting to the distortion in the filter section here we also have control over the frequency of our low pass filter and the resonance and finally another layer of saturation that can be added so let's see how it's gonna sound like Where things get real crazy is when we engage this button here which will basically blend dynamically the four types of distortion according to the settings we have here with modulation attack and release. So the amount of modulation, the attack and the release will be affecting different settings here in our plugin. For example, in the distortion, in the filter and also in the blend of distortion. So basically the speed at which it's going to release the attack and the intensity with the modulation knob here. Finally, you have the auto gain feature, which is supposed to gain match the input and the output of the plugin and the limiter to make sure that it doesn't clip your output because sometimes things can get nasty very, very fast depending on what type of settings you're using. Now let's check out what trash can do on bass guitar. Let's check out what Trash can do on Perks. So is this plugin worth it? Well, Trash in its light version is 100% free. So you should download it no matter what. And if you feel that you need the additional functionalities, it's only $79. And for users of Trash 2, it's only $29. If you're a producer or mixer looking for quick inspiration and killer dynamic distortion texture, I'd say go for it. If you like the video, smash that like button, subscribe and hit that notification bell. You can also drop me a comment on which plugin you'd like me to review next. See you again very soon.